Have you ever wished you could record your dreams? A question that has been lingering in the minds of many since time immemorial. Dreams, those fleeting snapshots of our subconscious, have long been a source of fascination and intrigue. They are the nightly theater of our minds, where we play out our deepest fears, greatest hopes, and the most fantastical scenarios that reality could never conjure. The significance of dreams has been acknowledged by countless cultures throughout history. Ancient Egyptians saw dreams as messages from the gods, while the Greeks used them as a window into the future. Even today, many of us turn to dream interpretation in an attempt to decipher the cryptic narratives of our sleep. But dreams are elusive. They slip through our fingers like water, leaving behind only fragments and echoes. Despite our best attempts, the vivid, immersive world of dreams often fades into the ether as we wake, leaving us with a yearning to remember them more vividly. Dream research has come a long way since the early days of Freud and Jung. We ventured into the realm of REM sleep, discovered the bizarre phenomenon of lucid dreaming, and even begun to understand the neurological underpinnings of our nocturnal reveries. Yet the world of dreams remains largely a mystery, a frontier of human consciousness that we've only just begun to explore. As we delve deeper into understanding the brain and its functions, we find ourselves standing on the cusp of a new era in dream research. With advancements in neuroscience and technology, we're beginning to glimpse the potential for unprecedented access to our dreamscapes. The question then arises, if we can map the stars, decode the human genome, and probe the deepest corners of the universe, could we not also find a way to capture our dreams? What if we could record them, play them back, and experience them again as vividly as when we first dreamt them? As we stand on the edge of this dream frontier, what if we could take one step further? Dreams have both baffled and fascinated us for centuries. This ethereal realm that we enter as we surrender to sleep is a fascinating spectacle of our mind's creation. But what really happens in our brains when we dream? When we sleep, our brains cycle through several stages, and it's during the rapid eye movement, or REM phase, that most dreaming occurs. During REM sleep, our brain activity increases, mirroring the levels when we are awake. And it's not just the brain as a whole, but certain regions specifically that light up during our dream episodes. The prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain associated with logic and decision-making, takes a back seat. On the other hand, the amygdala, the center for emotions, and the visual cortex, the region responsible for processing visual information, become more active. This could explain why our dreams often toss logic out the window and are heavy on emotions and visual imagery. However, the science of dreams doesn't stop at the brain's mechanics. Various theories attempt to explain why we dream. Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, proposed that dreams are a reflection of our repressed desires. Another theory, known as the activation synthesis hypothesis, suggests that dreams are our brain's attempt to make sense of random neural firings during sleep. Yet another theory, the threat simulation theory, posits that our dreams serve as a form of survival mechanism, allowing us to practice responses to threatening situations. While these theories offer intriguing insights, the true purpose of dreams still remains a mystery. For centuries, we've been trying to decipher the elusive language of dreams to understand their significance and their source. We've made strides in understanding the mechanics of dreaming, but the content, the intricate narratives woven in our subconscious mind still eludes our grasp. But the question remains, can we record these mysterious nocturnal narratives? Is it possible to capture the ephemeral to hold on to the intangible? As we delve deeper into the science of dreams, we edge closer to answering this intriguing question. Recent scientific advancements might bring us closer to answering that question. Let's dive into the latest research on dream recording. The field of neuroscience has been buzzing with studies that employ brain imaging and machine learning to decode the content of our dreams. Imagine having a device that translates your dreams into visual data. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not entirely far-fetched. One fascinating study conducted in Japan used functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, to scan the brain activity of participants while they were in the REM stage of sleep, when dreaming typically occurs. The researchers then trained an algorithm to associate specific brain patterns with certain images. When the participants woke up and described their dreams, the algorithm was able to match their dream descriptions to the corresponding brain scans with surprising accuracy. On the other side of the world, researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, are using a similar approach but with a focus on decoding the semantic content of dreams. They're training algorithms to understand how our brains represent specific concepts during our dreams, like running or falling. These methods, however, are not without limitations. 
the decoding process is far from perfect and requires a significant amount of interpretation. The algorithms can only match dream content to pre-existing images or concepts they've been trained on, and, of course, the technology can't capture the full richness and complexity of our dreams, which often involve abstract and symbolic elements that go beyond what can be represented in simple images or concepts. Moreover, these studies require participants to sleep in a lab with bulky brain scanning equipment, which is far from the comfort of your own bed. Plus, the process of decoding a single dream can take hours, if not days. So, we're not quite at dream movie status yet, but we're making remarkable strides. Even with these challenges, the research is shedding new light on how our brains create and process dreams, bringing us one step closer to understanding the mysterious world of our nocturnal narratives. So, what does the future hold for dream recording? Imagine a world where we unlock the full potential of dream recording. We could tap into the uncharted territories of our subconscious, deciphering our deepest thoughts and desires. It's like having a private cinema of our dreams, where we can play, pause, and rewind our nightly adventures. The potential applications are as vast as our imaginations. In the realm of mental health, therapists could use dream recordings to better understand the subconscious fears and desires of their patients. It could revolutionize the way we approach psychotherapy, providing a direct line into the subconscious mind. In the field of entertainment, imagine being able to share your dreams with others, or even experiencing the dreams of famous artists, scientists, or thinkers. It's a whole new frontier of shared experiences, one that could truly redefine our understanding of empathy and human connection. But with such power comes considerable ethical considerations. Who owns the rights to our dreams? Could they be exploited for commercial gain? And what about privacy? The thought of having your deepest, most private thoughts available for others to see could be a daunting prospect. It's a delicate balance between the promise of scientific advancement and preserving the sanctity of our innermost thoughts. Moreover, there's the question of how this technology could change our relationship with our dreams. Dreams have always been a mysterious realm, a safe space for our minds to wander freely. With the advent of dream recording, would we lose that sense of mystery and freedom? Or would we gain a deeper understanding and appreciation of our mind's incredible capacity for creativity and imagination? The future of dream recording presents a tantalizing mix of promise and uncertainty. As we navigate this uncharted territory, we must tread carefully, considering not just the scientific and technological implications, but also the ethical and psychological ones. It's an exciting, if not slightly unnerving, prospect. Dreams offer a window into our subconscious, a world often as bewildering as it is enchanting. As we navigate the twilight zone between sleep and wakefulness, we've delved into some truly intriguing aspects of our dream-laden minds through this journey together. We've dissected the science of dreams, how our brains weave intricate narratives from random neural impulses during the REM phase of sleep. We've examined how our subconscious thoughts, feelings, and experiences shape these nocturnal tales. It's been a fascinating look into our mind's private theater, where the only limit is our imagination. We've also explored the latest research on dream recording. Scientists are using cutting-edge technology to try and capture our dreams, to translate the electrical activity of our sleeping brains into images and sounds. These pioneering studies are the first steps towards turning the ephemeral world of dreams into tangible reality. The notion that we could one day watch our dreams like a movie, replay our most fantastical adventures, or even share them with others is truly mind-boggling. And finally, we've peered into the future of dream recording. We've considered the ethical implications, the potential benefits, and the exciting possibilities. Imagine if we could control our dreams, use them to solve problems, or even to create new art. The possibilities are as limitless as the dreams themselves. But let's not forget, dreams are also deeply personal. They're a reflection of our deepest fears, hopes, and desires. They're a part of us, as much as our waking thoughts and actions. So, as we stand on the brink of this new frontier, let's approach it with respect, curiosity, and a sense of wonder. As we wrap up this quest into our dream world, we're left with more questions than answers. But that's the beauty of exploration, isn't it? The thrill of the unknown, the joy of discovery. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the mind, who knows what fascinating discoveries await us in the realm of dreams?